Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install WhatsApp Desktop on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So this is actually going to apply to any modern Mac operating system. I'm using macOS Monterey and I'm running on the M1 Max chip. So all you need to do is to go to this website, whatsapp.com forward slash download. I'll leave a link to this in the description. And then what we're going to do is to click on download for Mac OS X here. So I'm going to click on this button and that's going to download the WhatsApp software. So I'm going to go to Finder and then go to my Downloads folder and then I'm going to double click on this whatsapp.dmg. And then with this WhatsApp icon, I'm going to drag this to the Applications folder and let go. Then I'm going to double click on Applications here. So this is the Applications folder in your Finder as well. What we're going to do is double click on WhatsApp. So here it's asking if we're sure we want to open it. We just click Open and that's fine. So now what we need to do is to pair our phone's WhatsApp with the WhatsApp desktop. You must have a phone with WhatsApp installed in order for this to work. So here I'm going to show my phone on the right hand side of the screen. So you need to open up your own phone. I'm using an iPhone and I'm opening the WhatsApp application. What you need to do is to tap on the lower right hand corner of your screen under settings and then we need to tap on linked devices and then what we want to do is to tap on this button called link a device and then what we're going to do is to basically press the ok button here then what i'm going to do is point my phone camera at my actual screen and then that's going to pair the computer so once the computer is paired you'll be able to use your whatsapp as normal as long as your phone whatsapp is connected to the internet you'll be able to use it from your computer and you'll be able to type and add images and download images directly from whatsapp desktop rather than having to use your phone anyway i hope you found this video useful if you did please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video